Good morning, Houston, FortDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Benjamin Botman, the CEO of Jerflor USA. Benjamin, how you doing? Good. Thank you, Kemp. Good morning. It's been about six months since we did a podcast, and I want to talk to you about two items, specifically the new headquarters you have in Bolingbrook, Illinois, and also your plans for Neocon. Before we get to that, though, Jerflor USA is a French-based global company about a billion in global sales. You focus in the commercial resilient side of the business, but also have a healthy sports flooring business. We just finished our June commercial market report, and we've got a few details in there about your floor and our estimate on your size. So I direct the listeners to go there for a little bit more detail. Uh, before we get into these news items, tell us how's business doing. The business is strong. We are very happy because we can report uh, growth on all segments. Education, sport is very good. Healthcare, of course, remains very strong. And we are seeing a significant growth on our sheet business, you know, homogeneous, heterogeneous. Yeah, we are very happy that it's very well balanced now. We can report growth on every segment. You know, when I talked to you in early January, you said in 21 over 20, business had been double digits. So are you still growing on that pace? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to refuse, you know, anything lower than that for sure. Well, one of the windfalls for you probably is the uncertainty with Armstrong. On the specified side of the business, people generally like to specify products they know are going to be there down the road. So that's got to be good for you as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, we like to have a healthy uh, competition with, you know, the market needs to be strong and Gerfleur is offering value added. Since the beginning, I think there were a lot of questions regarding Gerfleur and other French or European companies coming uh, into the U.S. marketplace. My promise to all our stakeholders, customers was always, you know, don't look back. Gerfleur is here for the long run. Yeah. And I think, you know, uh, the accomplishment, but also uh, this commitment and, and this new facility investment for the U.S. market is a proof of that. It's a proof that they don't need to look back. We are here for the very long run, and Jeff Lowe will continue to deliver on promises. As I was looking on Floor Daily, some news items we've run on you recently. You joined the Fuse Flooring Commercial Network recently, and uh, you also have a new partnership with Vizient, which is a medical purchasing organization, right? Yeah, it's very strategically aligned. Uh, first and foremost, we're getting flooring contractors. It's our uh, core-based customers. We really value the partnership. We always consider that flooring contractor is bringing quality uh, to our uh, value proposition to end users or uh, designers. And from day one, we've always focused and, and invested in, in the relationship. So tell us about your new headquarters. Give us some details. I know it's both an office building, which is much bigger than the one you had before, and it's also a warehouse, which is twice as big as what you had before, right? Yeah, we are extremely excited. I am very glad to report that we are in time, uh, despite all the, you know, the issues in supply chain and finding labor. The team has done a fantastic job. I, I thank as well all the contractors because we're going to be totally ready for the opening next Sunday right before Neocon, the office space and the warehouse. Indeed, it's a very important accomplishment for us because we are not only you know, increasing a little bit, actually we are increasing by 200% our footprint regarding the distribution space, which means that we can welcome uh, 50 uh, trucks at a time. And when uh, fully equipped with racking, we will have a capacity of 30 million square feet of product available, ready to ship, everywhere in the country. You did mention that it is on Bullingbrook, so for your listener, just to share where it is located, actually, we, we decided to be in Chicago for a long time and to stay in Chicago. It's a decision because we've made a lot of survey regarding uh, the best way to serve the entire country, uh, coast to coast, and actually being in the middle was very efficient from a cost and logistic perspective. We are also in Bullingbrook because it's on the Route 66, the historical Route 66. So it's a very big hub for logistics in order, again, uh, for the truckers uh, to pick up every order and to route them anywhere in the country in a very efficient and cost manner. The, the warehouse is, is one piece of, the, of this opening. The other part, which is also equally important, is the space for the office. It's a new work and collaborative environment. It's going to be the headquarters of North America for Gerfleur with our three brands, Connor Sport, Sport Court, and Gerfleur. We've decided to have a collaborative space where we don't have walls, I don't have an office, 
because we believe everybody is equal and contribute to the success of our company and organization. So we have 10,000 square feet of uh, flexible office environment. We decided to name it The Court. Why is The Court? Simply because the feeling will be like being in a, uh, on the sport surface, obviously, because we are the sport leader worldwide. And we would like to make many more wins, including to celebrate small and large successes for the years to come. Well, it sounds like you're following the lead of a couple other major flooring companies. I know Chalk has a collaborative space that uh, they built for $25 million or so several years ago. Then Interface also has their base camp in Atlanta. So sounds like your new office headquarters is uh, along those lines of having you sit in a different place depending on what you're doing, right? Exactly. You can choose and pick wherever you, you like to be during the day. All together, that's a very important one as well. It means when I say everybody together, again, including myself, being in the middle with the team, we created even a college type logo, which is positioned in the center of our court, of our office to reinforce uh, the team culture, the continuous learning, training, and of course, college, because we supply the NCAA with Connor Sport every year. We are, again, a champion, and uh, we call it, you know, where champions work environment, because our logo at Connor Sport is where champions play. So play, work, you know, uh, I don't want uh, too many barriers. I think we can uh, really do both at the same, uh, at the same time. So team culture, working environment, but more importantly, again, because it's a court, it's uh, to celebrate our success and our wins. Small and big, okay. I insist on that. Like an NBA team, you know, in order to win the championship, uh, you have to win game by game and to celebrate those and to continue to learn, you know, so that every year it's a new challenge because the championship goes on and uh, you can be the champion of one year or one month, but to be the champion for many, many, many years, that's exactly what Jeff Fleur uh, is uh, trying to reach. Okay. And what is your uh, back-to-work policy with your staff there in, in Illinois? We are going to welcome everybody back to the office on Monday 13, so right okay. after opening. We will have a flex office, which means that it's going to be all right to work from home time to time. But again, we're going to encourage everybody to come. The policy is really to encourage people to come, so to show the value of being together at the same place. Uh, working from home time to time makes sense, including for myself, when you are you know, all day long in front of your computer, that's perfectly all right. But again, we are a big believer on the team culture, on being on the court uh, all together, celebrating, learning from each other. And that's what uh, this new facility also will be encouraging. All right, well, we'll cover what you're going to do next week. Everybody's coming to Chicago that's in the design business. You're not actually at the mart, but you actually do something a little creative. Tell us about that. Yeah, rather than having a space in the market, we're going to provide an opportunity for designers to explore the Jeff Lohr portfolio of products because we have made so many innovations and so many new products every year, including this year, on a very relaxing environment because we're going to have a yacht uh, cruise on the Lake Michigan. We are fully booked for this cruise with a lot of designers which are already committed to stay uh, and, and spend um, a quality, you know, quality time together with our team. So we are very happy because we are in June, we are in Chicago. Weather is always a challenge, even in June. Yeah. The good news, apparently we're going to have a sunny and good weather on Monday, Tuesday, okay. and Wednesday in Chicago. So that's the good news of the that, day. That's important for a boat ride. you got to have good weather. All right, Benjamin, thanks for giving us an update. We look forward to seeing you there next week. Again, been talking to Benjamin Botman, CEO of Dirt Floor USA, and you've been listening to Kempar and FloorDaily.net.